guys are here, you're welcome to uh, step up, uh, MJ. There you go, MJ, your first. So uh, we're going to uh, keep as much as possible close to the five minute total. So uh, you get uh, about, let's say, two to three minutes for the pitch and two to three minutes for the Q&A. That's good? That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, hi everyone. My name is MJ. I work for this startup called Gathering. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. If you want Tim to open yeah. a site uh, or a video you to uh, introduce him and ask him. Oh. Um, Presentation or website? Um. Yeah. How about Gathering.com? If you go to dot 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 Gathering. G A T H E R. G A. Uh. T H E R. I C dot com. T H E R. Um. One H. Gather. Gather it, IC. IC? Yeah. Gather it, dot com. Dot com. That's the one, right? Uh, yeah, that's the one. Um, there's a video. Wow. Actually, you're going to have to leave the video. Let's start with the video. Introducing Gathering, the new crowd gathering solution that lets you plan events and raise funds before you confirm your next event. Sometimes, planning events can be tough. In fact, people can be flaky. Ever try getting a precise headcount ahead of time? Hello, no shows, cancellations, and last minute hours of use. If this isn't enough, you've got to cover upfront costs like free venue deposits. These event viewers can stop you from creating events in the first place. We call this no show no phobia, the fear of creating new events. But hey, that's why we created Gathering. It's not crowdfunding with new events. Let's say you want to host an event, but you need 50 people to make it happen. With Gathering, guests can confirm their attendance with a small deposit. Once you reach 50 hours of fees, you'll receive their deposits and your event is on. Creating events is simple. Just name your event, choose how many people you need to join, and how much they need to pay per person. And voila! Share your event on social media outlets like Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Get everyone on board, reach your participation goal, and receive the money you need to jumpstart your event. So stop worrying and start planning. Make your next event a success. Gathering the Gathering Engine. Alright, so I don't, I don't know if that was <laughs> visible or you we'll see it. But simply, um, basically what we try and do is, this is a crowdfunding but for events. So you can uh, create an idea for events. And uh, if you raise enough people to join your event, then events is confirmed. Otherwise, it's canceled. The reason why we're doing that is because we want to remove the fear of low turnouts from event planning. So you can plan bigger events and you can scale up your uh, influence over time. So um, for instance, you can eventually, we, we want to uh, target people who are creating classes, like cooking classes, but they don't have um, a kitchen to uh, work on. But if they raise students to um, come to their class, they can use um, and borrow a kitchen uh, or a classroom from somewhere else. Or you can even create your own burning night if you want to. So that's the scale that we're going after. We're not the first people to try this idea. Uh, there's a few other uh, companies that try it in, like, say, Canada, where I'm actually from. But uh, I think we're the first from uh, doing in San Francisco. We want to focus uh, in San Francisco market. And yeah, that's it. What's the difference between Gatorick and Meetup? Um, so the difference is, um, so Meetup uh, allows people to gather and uh, collaborate on similar ideas together. Whereas Gatherick, uh simply makes sure that when you're creating an event, you don't have low turnouts, otherwise the event is cancelled if you don't have show up. So you can actually work, use Gatherick on top of Meetup. So it's like how you're using, you're using Eventbrite on top of uh, Meetup um, for some events uh, already. And how much does it cost? Um, so the pricing is it's zero, it's free to use, but we're charging 4% commission for all the funds that are raised through Gatherick. Um, so it's similar to how Indiegogo or like Kickstarter works. So we're borrowing the price uh, scheme from uh, crowdfunding system and their price models. You mean if the event is full, then you get a commission? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you're creating free events with free tickets, then we're not taking any commission. Yeah, if, yeah, let's say it's ten dollars. Right. If you're taking ten dollars, then it's forty cents commission for per ticket. Oh, okay. Um, and there's a strike charge on top of that for every okay. pledge. Because they pay on your site. Oh uh, yeah, because you're paying with the credit card on your on, on our site. So. Okay. Um, it's that. good because my daughter. Cancels can they, uh, if someone just cancels, the money be deposited. Yeah, so money is not charged until the event is confirmed. Um, and if you cancel your event so fast, then your future reputation, because people can still uh, write reviews once they pledge. So like, if you cancel too much, then it just reduces your reputation over time. That's a great idea. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. So, um, guys, you know, there's, there's a few purposes of the pitch. It's like uh, you want the, the person to get the feedback on the pitch, you know. It's like uh, it could be, uh, you know, a pitch to the investor. It could be pitched to, like, just uh, a network, you know, just a practice. But just some idea about, like, you know, how you present it so you can improve upon it. Uh, it's good to know. And, uh, but, yeah, thanks. Thank um, you. I actually have a question. Yeah. Would you guys use the site if you... I would, my daughter teaches yoga, so that's good for her. Uh, what is that? She teaches yoga. Yeah, yoga teachers and uh, cooking class or any people who have knowledge. So uh, I'll tell her to use your site. Oh, cool, thank you. Oh, actually, I have stickers also, so if you want yeah, to give me one, give me one, I'll give it to her. She'll be happy sure. to use it. Thank you. Great, guys. So, you know, let's, let's make it productive, you know, it's uh, make it worth his time and make it worth your time also, you know, so any feedback that you can give it to him, it's, it's valuable. One insight can make a, a difference in, uh, likewise, uh, if you guys have any questions to ask, uh, you know, from, the, you're all peers, you know, you guys uh, are startup entrepreneurs, you know. Okay, so I have Shun from Cat Sensor. Yep. There you go. Oh, cool. And Shun is from uh, Japan. Yeah. And uh, MJ was from Canada.